This video is to help you prepare your census demographic data for a join with the geographic data. I'm going to open the file in my data folder. The file I'm looking for is not here. I have to go to all files. Now all of my files are listed. There are two that I'm interested in. One is with annotation. I'm going to click open. The other one I'm going to go back to the same folder is the metadata and click open. This metadata document tells us what each of these codes represent. I'm going to double click on this double facing arrow to give us the full code list and these are the corresponding descriptions of what these codes mean. Back to the data I'm going to make that bigger. Here's our data and the first thing I'm going to do is click on this button and then click in between the cells so that they all fit and then I'll just click on a cell. There's two housekeeping items that we have to take care of. First of all we need to make sure that these two columns are text. I've highlighted them both. Right click, format cells and text and say OK. The other error or potential error I see is this dash. So immediately put in an underscore instead of the dash and from there I believe our data is good. I don't see any other dashes therefore I don't foresee any more problems. The next step is to make a copy of this pristine data. To do so right click move or copy I'm going to move to the end and create a copy and say OK. This in two parentheses I'm going to change the name to something I can remember such as use this data. In the one I'm not going to use I make sure I cannot use it. Don't use this data with an exclamation point. That data will surely not work because of the exclamation point, the spaces, and the comma in the word don't. Now I can mess with this data and use this data without for fear of losing the data. If I mess it up badly, I can just go back, make a copy of this pristine data, and create another copy. That saves me from having to download or reopen the file, make these minor changes that we did with the text format and that underscore. I just noticed two more issues as we're looking at this and that is the dot in these file names. I'm going to give it an underscore in each of them and I suggest you do the same. Remember only underscores, no spaces in the headers for sure and no spaces in the file names. We'll rename this file in a moment. I can now go back to use this data and I've got to apply those changes here and I'll do so just by a copy and paste. There. Now the data is ready to go. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have easy access to all my data and I'm going to put the data that I'm going to use in starting with D. I'm going to use A, B, C and some new columns. I'm going to right click, insert, right click, insert, right click, insert. I've just created three new columns and for our purposes I'm going to name them form, owners, form, renters, form, total, pop. And this stands for formula for the owners, formula for the renters, formula for the population. I need to figure out what cells contain the owner information. And to do so, I'm going to navigate back to my metadata document and find where the owner occupied units are. What I'm looking for in the metadata is specifically household population and I need a number. 
I need household population occupied housing units owner occupied housing units notice how we're eliminating some of the codes population in owner occupied housing units and it looks like it's this one right here row 8 number household population owner excuse me occupied housing units owner occupied housing units population in owner occupied housing units I want the one that's the number which means that it's not this one I have to look for HD01 S03 I go to my other document that has the formulas HD01 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 S03 this is the column that I'm looking for which means that it's K2 because when I click on it there's a K and there's the 2 doing so I scroll back to my formula owners and type equals and then I'm going to go back to that K2 because this is the easiest equals K2 enter and the number is transformed and let me make these smaller so that I can see K2 11788 11788 this is not the number of course this is the formula which is why it's named formula owners for formula renters I need to find the same information but for a for renters go back to my metadata renter occupied housing units renter occupied housing units the number it looks like HD 01 S 06 because I want a number and not a percent HD 01 SD 06 or excuse me S 06 go back to the data HD 01 S 06 and that's right there which means Q2 formula renters equals Q2 enter the last item for this and then this column a formula formula for total population which is this plus this an easy formula is that cell plus this cell enter from there I highlight the cells I grab the box and I drag it to the bottom of my data it's only 40 down that's interesting never seen that happen before I'm gonna try again with a control Z that's what happened I had an extra space select just these rows and then drag down and it should work much better there we go now I have all of the data populated using formulas however formulas will not work in ArcMap we have to change that in a moment to fix this let's add some new columns right click insert I don't like where that was placed so I'm going to go back to G I did control Z on G insert 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 copy by highlighting all three columns and pressing control C highlighting G H and I and in this case paste values now when I click in the cells it is a value as opposed to a formula from here I can delete my formulas alt E D deletes them somehow I deleted my name so I'll just control Z and it comes back and now I have values 
there's another way to show this. I'm going to control Z and get them back. And right now I'm having back on the formulas. This is just to show you what's going on. I'm going to highlight from column J all the way to the end of the document. Because we don't need this information, I'm just going to click delete. And notice that these now end up being zero because there's no values for them to copy. It equals N2 and there's nothing out here in N2. From there, I can delete these columns by Alt E D and they're gone. And now would be a good time to save my data. I'm going to file Save As in my Lab 6. Change this to an Excel document. going to save it as user ID census demographics press save now I've got my data saved couple more finalized steps we're going to change this now to owners renters and total because they're no longer formulas. We don't need the F-O-R-M to remind us that they're formulas because they're actual data. And do save one last time. Double check that I don't have any illegal characters. No erroneous data. It's in use this data and close.